All right, I got a quick question here from our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. If you have questions, you can also join the QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group and use the link down below. And I try and pick up some of these questions and answer them uh, directly or through video. Is there a way to backdate a sale? Our computer went down and we had to use paper invoices for a sale. And I just wanted to add it so it matches the credit card payments from the merchant services report. This is an excellent question and is absolutely possible. I run into this from time to time with different people. Uh, whatever reason they couldn't use their point of sale or maybe even like something went wrong with point of sale and they had to restore from a backup from several days ago, uh, hopefully not more than a week ago, and they need to re-enter the sales that happened in the meantime. So you're gonna go to the make a sale screen. Woohoo! And you know, if you need to add the customer name, you can do that if you want to. And then, of course, uh, add all of the products that they purchased. And we'll just get a little diversity of products here. Something's out of stock. Uh, and then, if you're just doing this on, on a very minimal basis, you could go on the I Want To menu and go to Change Date. And go ahead and either type in or choose the date that's previous to now. Could be last week, could be last month, could be whenever. This is actually going to make this receipt happen on that day so that it looks like to your system and to your accounting that the money came in on that day. The inventory product quantity was depleted on that day, etc. It'll put it in your sales history on this day as though it happened then. Now, I said one-off basis or short-term basis, you do it on the I want to menu. Now, if you have to do this for a ton, and by a ton I mean like maybe a hundred different receipts, then every little click counts, and clicking three more times to get there is uh, you know, gonna be some extra work. So if you have to do this over and over again a whole bunch, you may want to right-click over here and customize your buttons and add change date button over here and that just saves you a click or two and gives you the document date that you can change there. So then, of course, you're going to uh, hit cash, credit check, etc. Cash, I'll hit here. Save. This is Amy Hendel, and I did that back to the 30th. So I'm going to hit save. Customer got a reward. And now we will check out in the sales history we can see this was happening on the 30th and it'll put it back in your history back there.